Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox. Welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. This of course applies to pretty much all Linux operating systems, but I'm targeting Ubuntu here with my partner System76. So if you've just installed a new operating system, just refresh, just tried a new VM, or maybe you're starting up your new System76 computer, you may run into an issue where you can't play back certain media files. And this is because most of the codecs for them are non-free or not open source, and thus can't always be packaged with the operating system itself. Thankfully, it is fairly easy to install them, and System76 has actually done my work for me here by providing the document page with the with the code that you need to type in the command line to install all of these codecs. So I'll post the link to it in the description below and in the comment section down there, and you go to it and you copy under step two the code that it has here, which is sudo app install dash y, which automatically accepts all the installation, and then the codecs that you need, which is libdvd for DVD playback, libav codec, gstreamer, ffmpeg, and oxide quicktime codecs. Highlight all of that text in the box, right click, go to copy or hit control C, open a new terminal by either if you know how doing so or control alt T will open one as well. In the terminal, right click and hit paste or hit control shift B. You cannot do control V to paste, that does not work. And that will paste the command and then hit enter. This will require your password as you are running it as an administrator to install software. Type in your password, it won't show it, but it will be typing it and hit enter. And then it should download and install all the software. And once you're done, you will need to restart your computer. But before you do that, if you want to enable DVD playback, not that you have a DVD drive these days, but if you do, then you need to also, after all those things have finished installing, type in sudo dpkg-reconfigure libdvd-pkg and hit enter and let that, that do its thing and then restart your computer. And that will allow you to play DVD playback in many of the media apps. And that's all you need. Then you can play just about anything. And if you're having trouble getting something to play, I recommend downloading VLC. It's under, it's videoland.org or it should automatically be in the Ubuntu Software Center. It doesn't always come prepackaged with Ubuntu builds though, uh, but it's a great media player that plays just about anything using internal codec. So it plays just about anything. I do hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Consider checking out our sponsor, System76. System76 is based out of Denver, Colorado and builds powerful and really awesome Linux based machines for us Linux users who want one that made to work with it right out of the box. I've been using the System76 Lemur laptop as my main Ubuntu machine for a little while now and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. The unboxing to it will be in the description below and that's what I'm recording all of these tutorials on and I'm enjoying it very, very much. They make great machines. They have high quality stuff. They do laptops, desktops, servers, and more. And they've got some pretty cool stuff going all to power makers, creators, coders, and even people like me. Check out their link in the description below for more information and to help out the channel, let them know I sent you. And for more Ubuntu related videos, check the YouTube card icon above or the playlist or description link of the playlist below for the Ubuntu tips playlist and other Linux related videos. And my name has been Adam Repos Vox. I'll see you next time.